Hi everyone, Kimberly Mackey here with New Home Solutions. Thanks for joining us today. I am so excited uh, to bring to you international keynote speaker and best-selling author, expert in the science of influence and sales psychology, all-around good guy, and a person I want to live uh, most vicariously through with his travels, John Palumbo. Um, John is going to share with us today an excerpt from his highly sought-after series, 52 Selling Ideas, and he's going to talk to us about getting real and developing better personal charisma. This is fantastic because John has just come out with another fantastic book. Uh, this one is called Highly Influential, and it's 27 Days to Unleashing the True Power of Your Charisma. I know you're going to rush, want to rush right out and get a copy of one of those as soon as you listen to him speak. Enjoy John Palumbo, and we will see you next month on the Solutions Blog. Hello, and welcome back to 52. This week, I'm going to share some insights with you on charisma, what you can do to unlock your personal charisma. You know, that state of mind, that attitude, if you would, that helps you influence and persuade people. That's really what charisma is about. Your ability to influence and persuade without ever having to do anything, without ever having to say anything. It's selling without selling. It's creating and knocking down barriers that would have been there otherwise. So let's jump right into it. In order to effectively make your charisma more powerful, you have to do five things. The first one is you have to be attentive. And attentive means you sincerely listen to what the customer has to say. That's easy enough said. I've listened to a hundred people and they all say you have to pay attention to the customers. But I'm being frank with you here. You have to listen to what they have to say and you have to be attentive to where they're going with it. You have to, as in number two is, you have to prioritize that connection. That means they become the most important thing you do. And here's what charisma is. It's not just saying hello to someone. It's stopping what you're doing to say hello. That's what charisma is about. That's what prioritizing that human connection is all about. You have to, number three, draw people out. That means as you talk to someone, you can't ask yes and no questions. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, no. You might have to be careful because sometimes you ask a question, you may not like the answer that you get. You may have learned that in one of the other sessions that we've done. But you have to ask questions that allow them to open up and tell you the answers rather than answer with a yes or no. So instead of saying, did you have a nice weekend? What did you do this past weekend? Now you've got a reason for them to talk and share some information with you. Number four, you have to be authentic. You know, I watched an interview with a woman called Joey Mangano. It wasn't too long ago. She was on a network television morning show. And if you don't know who she is, you just need to Google her because this is not the time for me to tell you who she is or what she's about. But I'll give you this. They made a movie about her and she was an inventor of a mop. And that's all the clues I'll give you. Probably you know who I'm talking about. If not, look her up. But in her interview and how she built a mega million empire with a mop, the interviewer asked her, what was the secret to your success? And her answer was simple. She said, you have to be authentic. If you watch the movie, Joy, which is about her and her life and how she built her empire, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But the ability to be authentic means you just become you. You can't be somebody else. You can't imitate what somebody else is doing. You have to be you. That's what I do in front of this camera right now. I'm just me. I'm not trying to be like anybody I've ever seen. And sometimes I shoot these a couple of different times. And sometimes I even, <coughs> I make a mistake and I just keep shooting. And you may have seen that in some of these, or sometimes I'll call for a hiccup, but that's okay because that's me. I want to just be me when I'm here talking to you. And then number five is, you never fake it. And at sometimes I've heard you fake it till you make it. 
And that's a different strategy. But when you're in front of the customer, you can't fake real answers. You can't fake authenticity. You can't fake being the real you. So just keep these in mind. Be attentive, prioritize the human connection, draw people out, be authentic, and never fake it in front of your customer. These are the simple rules of increasing your charisma with customer. You follow these simple rules. You may want to watch this segment over a few times just to get those down and write them down. Put them on a piece of paper, put them in your pocket, read them a few times a day. You do this, you'll see your charisma begin to change. And as your charisma changes, so will the people you're dealing with. It's an amazing process. I'm John Palumbo and I'll see you in our next session. Thanks.